This video will demonstrate how a medical professional can auscultate heart sounds on a female patient. There are four main points of auscultation. The best technique is to palpate each location because every person is different. The first sound is the aortic valve, which is located at the right border of the sternum in the second intercostal space. The pulmonary valve sound can be heard at the left border of the sternum in the second intercostal space. The tricuspid valve sound is located at the left sternal border in the fourth or fifth intercostal space. And the mitral valve sound is located in the fifth intercostal space at the midclavicular line. Auscultate these four areas in order, first with the diaphragm, then with the bell of the stethoscope. This demonstration is an example of heart auscultation on a female patient and how to appropriately drape. Prior to auscultation, make sure you've observed your patient for cardiovascular signs and symptoms. Explain to your patient what you will be doing and ask permission before performing auscultations. Ask the patient to move the gown a sufficient amount to reveal the second and fourth intercostal spaces. To auscultate the mitral valve, ask the patient to move the left side of the gown and lift her breast tissue to provide access to the fifth intercostal space. During auscultation of heart sounds, stand to the right of the patient to keep the stethoscope tubing in a straight line. Remember to listen first with the diaphragm and then with the bell of the stethoscope in order to hear all heart sounds. The patient can be in supine, sitting, or standing depending on the goals of the assessment and patient comfort. There are two normal heart sounds that correspond to the closure of valves. Usually described as lub-dub, S1 occurs with atrioventricular valve closure and S2 occurs with semilunar valve closure. A murmur is another abnormal heart sound an examiner should be aware of. It is caused by turbulent blood flow resulting from abnormalities such as stenosis or regurgitation. A gallop is an extra sound that can be heard during auscultation. An S3 gallop occurs immediately after S2 and at the beginning of diastole. An S4 gallop occurs at the end of diastole and immediately prior to S1. Both sounds occur due to blood hitting the wall of the ventricle. If you have any health concerns about yourself or someone you know, please refer to a primary care physician.